I still can't believe you got us away from Ben. Now, if we can just stay one step ahead of him, what's wrong? Are you having second thoughts? No, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's just this place. Well, what were you just thinking about? First time I was here. Memories, you know. I can tell by the look on your face that you were here with Eve. trying to get us killed? I'm sorry. I'm just in a rush to get to my sister. I know. And I want to see Ian. But these country routes are very tricky. Why are you in such a panic anyway? I told you. The INS... I know, I know. The INS wants to deport her. But why? I mean, <laughs> did she get into that much trouble? Frankly, yes. And your friend, Dr. Thornard? Well, he's at risk, too, as long as Ariana is with him. <laughs> what are you saying? She's dangerous or something? Because I, I saw her once or twice, and she didn't look like she could hurt a fly. Well, looks can be deceiving. Ariana almost took one life already. Yours. What? Ariana's the one who hit you with her car and left you to die. Look, I, I can't believe you've been in the other room all along, Jack. I mean, if I didn't know you any better, I'd say you were hiding from me. Livy, I really am to dying for some quality the father daughter time. Time. I don't, I don't need a posse. I can speak for myself, enough. right? I have spent half of my life being kept in the dark, no more. So since you all claim to care about me, I would like to know what happened here tonight. And don't even think about lying to me. Livy, I, I sincerely believe that no one here wanted to hurt you, ever. No, not ever, because you know we care so much about you. It's just some, sometimes things happen. Look, you're right, Livy. All right, you deserve the truth. Jack, um, maybe you better just take your jacket and go, because I don't think there's anything you should say to Livy at this point that would be no, very wrong. No, 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 I want to. All right, the truth is that I came here looking for you. Yes. Yes, he did. He did. See, that that's the logical explanation. Okay, Jack, you've seen her. There she is. Now and you can I go. And I wanted to tell you that you were right to drop me. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I thought that you were upset that I kicked you out. Well, yeah. I mean, my pride was a little hurt, but it's not like this is the first time a girl's ever dumped me. I didn't realize you had such a full social life. Well, let's just put it this way. You're better off without me. And besides, I like flying solo anyway. But that's what I wanted to tell you. You should listen to Jack. He's a bright boy. He's made some bad choices lately, but you can appreciate his honesty when he says he doesn't believe that he's right for you. Well, I said what I had to say. I'm out of here. I'm sorry, Livy, but this is probably for the best. God, I thought, I thought that you were cool with Jack. Why are you suddenly against him? Because, Levy, he's, he's your father. And he doesn't ever want to see you get hurt. You know, sometimes if you're with someone and you love them a lot more than they love you, it really does hurt. In fact, um, it completely tears your heart apart. Thank you. Livy, why don't we go somewhere and talk, just the two of us? No, no. No, I need to think this through. And, um, uh, besides, uh, you and Lucy have a lot to deal with, too, right? I'll be fine.
That that was very close. Oh boy, what have I done? Rob the cradle. You know, if if, if Livy ever found out that Jack and I were sort of together, you know, she would she would just die. Well, Livy's right about one thing, Lucy. You and I have unfinished business. I, I came here because I thought you were hurt and you needed a friend, and instead I find you half naked with Jack. But I, I told you absolutely nothing happened there. Nothing really happened. It was just some, some sort of horrible mistake. Well, so these mistakes don't happen again. You and I are going to deal with what's between us once and for all. Ariana is the one who hit me with her car? And then she managed to reel Dr. Thorne on it into her life. It's not like she did it on purpose or anything. I mean, the, the police said that it was an accident. Yes, but then she ran from the scene. Now she's trying to drag your friend into her mess. Look, wait a minute. No one makes Ian do anything he doesn't want to do, okay? But does he know that Ariana is a pathological liar? And that some of the stories that she tells are so convincing, she even believes in herself. Please believe me, all I want to do, I want to take my sister home, get her the help that she needs safely before she becomes a danger to herself or others. Well, okay then, I guess we better find them as soon as possible. I couldn't agree with you more. All right, well, let me uh, let me try Ian again on the cell phone. Maybe I can get through this time. Okay. Come on, Ian, where are you? you wouldn't if you talk to anyone ben could trace down the colin and he could track us okay, down okay okay don't worry you want to turn it off see now no one can find us Come on. i i can't be deported my family will kill me no one knows about this place well, except eve and come to think of it she doesn't remember being here either this must be so rough on you being in a place that holds memory of someone you love so much. Life goes on. All I'm thinking about right now is you and you being safe. And don't worry about your brother. He's not going to find you. There's still no answer. But the place that we're going is pretty remote, though. Well, maybe Dr. Thornhart's cell isn't working. Or maybe he turned it off. Well, I still think that Ian would go back to this cabin. I just have a hunch he'll be there. Well, I hope you're right. Because the sooner I get to my sister, the sooner this will all be over. I thought I'd find you here. Well, sorry you wasted your trip. Look, I've, um, I've been thinking about stuff and, and, um, something just doesn't add up. Shouldn't you be talking to your father? I mean, he's a shrink. Look, first of all, how did you get to Lucy's house? I mean, you didn't even know where she lived. I never told you. Oh, come on, Livy. Well, you think a con like me can't find out where someone lives? And another thing. Why, when I walked in that house, was everybody so jumpy? I mean, suddenly, my father seems to have turned on you, and Lucy was tap dancing around like some kind of pro, making up stories about why you were in the other room. So your father's protective, and Lucy's a scatterbrain. You were hiding from me, Jack. And I'd like to know why. Look, I told you to drop. No. Do this. I need to understand. We had a connection between us. I know that. You can't just walk away. Watch me. What is wrong with you? Why are you acting like this? You're acting like this means nothing to you, and I know that's not true. Jack, please, tell me the truth about why you're brushing me off. What happened? Isn't it simple? I mean, can't, can't you get a clue? I don't care. In fact, I don't give a damn about you. Okay, Doc, you want to deal with our problems. All right. Well, shouldn't we first of all deal with the fact that Livy had to come over here and practically drag it out of you to, to get you just to say that Eve left you at the altar? Don't... Don't you think that might be a tiny tidbit of something I'd really, really like 
to have known. Lucy, when was I supposed to share this tasty tidbit while you're under the sheets with your jailhouse friend? You're not allowed to judge me like that. I, I should be absolutely furious with you. In fact, I am. I am truly absolutely furious with you because what do you do? You, you have a little problem with Eve and you come running to me j just like you did when you thought he died? You know, you're right. Maybe I should have my head examined. No, maybe you forgot to tell me because you were so riled up seeing me under those covers with Jack, huh? Is that it? Lucy, maybe you wish this it was has you. nothing maybe to do with whatever jealous. happened with you and Jack. Now, let's calm down and stop pointing fingers, shall we? No, because maybe this is about the fact that you just keep running to sweet, dependable, always there, Lucy, when you need your heart mended. Is that it? Well, guess what, Doc? I have this huge news flash for you. I am sick and tired of being second choice. Choice? Who said anything about being able to make a choice? Lucy, you know my circumstances better than anyone. Oh, boy, do I. And I am really sick and tired also of your circumstances. So, that brings us to the point. What are you doing here, Doc? Why aren't you home with your sweet little missus? I told you, I came to apologize for the way I treated you at the ceremony. Well, good. Because you owe me the mother of all apologies. You were totally wrong. I'm in the wrong. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, I'm sorry, Fine, but... Fine, good. Apology accepted. No, apology rescinded. No, you are not allowed to take it back Oh, like yes, that. I no, am. Lucy, not. any inclination I had to make any apologies went out the window when I saw you with my daughter's boyfriend. You were jealous. You were jealous, No, right? it's just whatever reason things haven't worked out for us in the past came flooding back with a vengeance. Oh, Doc, don't you dare go there either. Don't dig into our past because your mistakes could match all of my mistakes. Mistake for mistake Yeah, for mistake. it's kind of like deja vu, isn't it? Oh, my God. The last time I let you into my life, I caught you shacked up with Scott. Let me? Let me? Uh, allowed me? back into your life? You are some self-righteous jerk. I guess that makes us even, because, Lucy, you are the most infuriating woman on the planet. <sighs> well, fine. But I also happen to be the woman who has stood behind you 110% through everything, Doc, through your ups and your downs. And boy, let me tell you something, your downs have certainly been no picnic. But you have never heard me complain, not, not one time. And so what do you do? You, you walk into to my home, and, and I'm a single, unattached, unmarried woman, and, and you see me with some guy, and you hit the roof? Who the hell do you think you are? Someone who's well within his rights to be furious with you. I can't take your dramas anymore. I just can't take them. Oh, no, you're not. You are not going anywhere. Because you're going to stand there and you're going to listen to me because I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about you. I don't believe it. I do not believe that you don't have feelings for me. Oh, come on. Baby, what part of I was using you don't you understand? Something else is going on here. Why else would Kevin and Lucy be acting so weird? Because maybe they thought I was going to hurt your feelings. But I think you deserve the truth. I mean, you are a big girl now. It was all a big game to me. A con. And the game just happened to work. Jack, I saw the way you looked at me. <laughs> no. No, you're, you're a major denial, sweetie. I mean, I'm not saying we didn't have any fun. I mean, I almost got you in bed. I mean, that's a big plus. Stop was that. It, what, you think I would kick... A sexy girl, someone who looks like you, out of my bed right away? <laughs> I don't think so. But at the end, that's when I dump you. No. No. I had a game plan. And I played it. And I played you, too. No, I hate you. <sighs> not as much as I hate myself. Lucy, just let me walk out that door before we both say things we'll regret. No. I want you to really, really listen to me. And you can just shove your apologies and your sanctimonious speeches, because I don't want to hear them. I want you to hear me. Doc, I will never, ever be able to forgive you for what you did. I, 
I stood by you in all your grief, and I gave you everything I had. And you just, you turned your back on me. Lucy, I thought I was free to be with you, but I wasn't. And you know it. What I know is how, how you made me feel. When you told me you loved me, and, and you made love to me, I, I was over the moon. I knew everything was right in the universe, and it was the way it was supposed to be, and that we were going to get together finally, after all this time. But I never meant to hurt you. But you did. So much. Eve comes back, and I'm out the door. You, your wife is home, and I'm gone. I get the sack. And do you know, the bed wasn't even cold, and you did a complete 180 degrees. Lucy, I thought my wife was dead. And you knew that I was grieving, you knew I was confused, and I warned you about it over and over again, but you wouldn't listen. You pushed your way back into my life. Because, because you wanted me to. Doc, you weren't confused. It wasn't Eve's name that you were calling out when, when we were making love. Lucy, I have feelings for you. You know that. But Eve is my wife. I had to do the right thing, and I told you that my place is with my wife. I heard you. But it just seemed like you were stringing me along then. What, what are you saying, Doc? You, you wanted both of us? No, it's just... Lucy, you both mean so much to me. Oh, my gosh. You know what that sounds like is married guy talk for I love my wife, but she doesn't understand me, so please just stick around. No, no, Lucy, I never lied to you, so don't pin that on me. But you sent me signals, great big glowing traffic signals that you still wanted me. So I went home, and, and, I, and I picked my guts off the floor, and I walked to that ceremony, and I, I wanted to fight for us. And do you know what you did? You took my heart, and you tore it up into... Tiny pieces, and you just shoved it right back at me. I told you that I was recommitting to my marriage. That signal was loud and clear, Lucy. But you stared at me like I was a stranger. Like I was some sort of party crasher that wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, I got your message, Doc. I heard what you said. You said you wanted me out of your life once and for all. Well, guess what? I get it. You want me out of your life once and for all, then you get that. And I want you to return the favor, okay? I want you to get out. Get out of my life once and for all. Just go. You want me out of your yes, life? Yes, I do. Your complicated, crazy life. Well, fine, Good. no problem. Good. Then Consider go. me gone. Good, I'm glad you're gone. Go! Just go. Good. This is the place. It's just how I remembered it. Please, Ian, be here. I have so much to tell you. You know, maybe it would be best if you went and talked to them alone first. My sister can get paranoid. And seeing me, it just might set her off. OK. Yeah. I just want to see Ian. We should be a little more equal. Isn't that what they say this country is all about? Equality? What are, you, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I mean, you know practically everything about the important events in my life, yet you hardly ever talk about yourself. What happened between you and Eve? It didn't work out. But you wish it had. I wish a lot of things. I wish my timing had been better. And I wish I'd found Eve before her husband did. And I wish the Beatles had recorded just one more album before they split up. But that's the past. And now all I wish for is world peace and cold beer. It's clear that you're in pain. Maybe if you talk about it... I know you want to help, and I appreciate that. But you can't. And here we are, talking about Eve, thinking about what might have been. As far as I know, she's on her second honeymoon right now. And I'm learning things, you know? I'm learning that there are certain things in your life that you have to accept. And I'm trying to accept the fact that uh, whatever even I had, or we could have had, it's gone. It's out of my life. It's gone. Stay tuned for 
after scenes from the next Port Charles. I've been looking forward to that date you promised me. Don't have to worry about anyone, including your brother. Ariana? Ariana, open the door. Admit it. The day is never complete without your daily dose of Erica Kane and all my children. Eventually, Erica will settle down and find someone special again. But is it today? You're going to have to watch and find out. Luckily, All My Children is coming up next here on SoapNet.